Good day from the Great White North. This is Freaky P the Crazy Canoe. And welcome back to the Stanley Parable. Now, I had a long day at work today. Uh, it was a little rough. <laughs> but you know, you just have those days where you finish work. And it's been one of those days where you just want to pick up a first person shooter and blow some friggin' heads off. <laughs> but unfortunately, you're so damn tired that you end up playing the Stanley Parable. So uh, let's start the game and uh, get right into it. All right, so we'll just start right off the bat and get right into it. So, uh, as usual, there's not much we can do. <laughs> so let's just go take our little walk as we always do because there's nothing, right? There's nothing, there's nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nope, okay. <laughs> It's a shame we can't open any of these doors. That would be so cool. Workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to... Remember when we went down into parking garage, but we never went any further than that? And we ended the episode. Well, we're going to go back there because I want to see what the hell that whole levitation thing was about. But yeah, like I said, you know, rough day at work. And sometimes, like I say, you want to pick up a game that way you can shoot people. <laughs> but... You're just so tired, and that's one of these days I'm having, so it's good to just come in and uh, came to a set of get a game that's more like a, yeah, yeah, we're going this way. <laughs> you know, just take a game that's more like a meditation style game, you know, like a Zen style, you know, like, hum, everything is good, <laughs> that type of game, you know, just something that you can relax with, and you don't have to worry and it's like just a relaxation technique i guess wave of disbelief stanley decided to go up to his boss's office no we're not going to the boss's office it's a shame though you can't really can you interact with... i i don't think we can interact with anything here which is a real shame that would be so cool but we're going down the stairs we are not going up Coming to a staircase, Stanley nope. walked upstairs to his boss's office. No, we're not. We're going downstairs to where we fly. <laughs> here we go. Is it here? Was there anything here? Nothing. Nothing. No. Why is there a note? There's no way to get the note. Damn. Because that looks important. I don't know if it is or not. But it does look like there's some writing. Oh, here we go. Isn't this where we left it? Yeah. Just couldn't do it. Okay, so let's see what he says. the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He yeah, might I don't want to do that. that. And mm -hmm. in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. Probably. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. Yeah, it's Twilight As Zone shit. pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. Oh, here comes for example, music. why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically Wait. behind him wherever he went? That's true. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? <laughs> no, Stanley said to himself. This is all too strange. This can't be real. Well, we can and at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! <laughs> of course. This is all a, a dream. solution to everything. Oh, it's just a dream. dream. Stanley felt to have found Only life was that way. An explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And just dream. Himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well do quit. this <laughs> while I'm still lucid. So he Good imagined point. himself flying and began Ooh, to here we go. float above the ground. Then he my feet. imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. Oh, it was so much chippy. fun. But it's and this? Stanley marveled that he had still not woken what up. The it's the light of the car. So lucid. 
And then perhaps oh, the strangest of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Which was? Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Good point. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought Inception. it all odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Okay, Stanley what's with the mind fuck the job there? As he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. Okay, After all, fuck? he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This yeah. voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... That's a good point. He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. And how? So he closed his eyes gently. Okay. And he invited himself to wake up. He felt wake up. the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. Come on, folks, get up. Wake up. The mattress on wake up. Wake up, Stanley. Come on, wake up. Outside this one. Is it gonna happen? Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me Open go back to your my eyes, Stanley. Let me continue pushing the buttons. And look Please. at your life. It's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my oh, life. So there is a wife after all. Always been. See, we, we learned that in the last episode. I am normal. That there was a woman, now we know Everything what it is. Will be fine. It's his wife. I am okay. I am. You see, I told you it was a meditation style episode. Nope. <laughs> We're still stuck. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a Okay, I, I, I feel bad for Stanley. We gotta move. We gotta get out of here. Someone tell me I am real. I must be real, I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Whoever, yes, whoever. I can hear you, Stanley. I am your friend. Black. <laughs> what? No, 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 don't do this to me. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. This Mariella is new? Woke up on a day like any other. She what rose, the hell got dressed, is this? gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Oh, oh no! Know what crazy people looked like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. How fucking rude is that? What is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The okay. very important people. Do we play whose girl now? Of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And How rude. And ran. Oh, come on. At a rough day, weren't you come and get mind fucked like this? Oh, of course. Why not? Where do we go from here? I mean, I'm dead, ain't I? Apparently, that was Stanley, and Stanley's dead. Look at these fucking little things. There's nothing we can do. Nothing, nothing, nothing. You piece of shit. <laughs> All of you the street workers were gone. We know what that. Mean. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No, no, no. Well, wait. What? Where is it? Are we supposed to go this way? But. But. Oh, this is not good. What? What is this? Okay, that's that, but isn't that the same freaking thing as this? No, this is where we came from. Okay, what? I am really confused. 
I thought we had to go the other way. This is really weird. It's the same friggin' way, but... Are, are we going in reverse? What the hell is this? Okay, we gotta be going in... Wait, wait. Do you see this? Computers are on. What does this say? Awaiting input, can we? Oh, what? Can, hello? Can we do something? What? Hello? Nothing. I can't do that. Okay, you saw that though. We were able to access it. Username access. This <laughs> frustrating. What the fuck is going on here? Okay, what the hell? And we can't do anything more with that one. Well, at least we can access the computers, I guess. If you want to call that accessing. <laughs> a wave of disbelief. No, no. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Oh, he might find an What's this? There. I was able to open the broom Stanley closet. stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Really? Oh my god, this is sad. We're still going down Coming the stairs. To a staircase, so. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. No, no, we're going downstairs. Leave me alone. <laughs> no office, no nothing. But Stanley just couldn't do it. Nope. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during Okay, let's hurry up because last time we got screwed for that and in such a competitive economy Wait, what the fuck? That risk all because he believed every What the hell was that about? His boss would think he was crazy. Now you all saw that right? Something what the Stanley. fuck? Maybe he thought to himself. Maybe I am crazy What the all hell's my going on? My blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single Exit? moment for no reason at all None what of it made any logical hell? sense and as Stanley pondered this, he began oh, to make no. strange observations. For example, oh, no. why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Are you shitting me? Don't do this to me. Don't. behind him wherever he went. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to what? look pretty familiar. It said familiar. exit, 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 exit. Repeating. No, Stanley said to himself, oh, don't this do is this all to too me. strange. This can't be real. And at last, he don't. came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words Oh, for it. no, I'm no. I'm dreaming. Yeah. No. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer. An explanation. Are you fucking his shitting me? His weren't actually gone. No. He lose his job. He no, I'm just out. losing my mind. <laughs> and he thought to himself, I And I can't I'll get the fuck soon. out. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job. There's no buttons. way out. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So lucid, we're about to die. And began to gently float above the ground. Then oh. he imagined himself soaring through space on a oh, magical. It's too late. <laughs> and it too appeared. It was so much fun. Where, where, and where? where? Marveled that Give me something. Woken up. How was he remaining Nothing. so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stan's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Oh, Jesus Why Christ. is there a voice in my head? Yeah, fuck your voice! Why is there no exit? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly Okay, this strange. is crazy. We I cannot get out of here. Voice describing me, thinking <laughs> about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And There's no way out. Odd, <laughs> it's very clear. <laughs> their dreams. There's no way out. This was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? This Believing is... that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to this take responsibility is nuts. for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, he well, apparently not enough. That's quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this oh was in God, fact a dream. No, don't Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This oh voice was a Christ part of himself sakes. too. Surely, surely, don't if he could just... Me. He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this yeah, was well, a dream. we're not in control, dude. So he closed his eyes gently. And he don't, invited don't do himself this, to no. Oh, 
Oh, he fuck me. The blanket on his skin. No. The press of the mattress on his No. Mattress. The fresh air of a world outside. No, it's sun. not real. <laughs> Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let Reality back is back a dream. We can't Let wake up. We're going to die. Please. It's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife. And my so daughter. I'm assuming all that I want is my life. when we die, it's because we jumped out of the window. My life is what normal. else could it be? <laughs> I am normal. Everything I am defined. normal, but apparently, according to this game, I'm messed in the mind. Okay. I'm not that okay, dude. <laughs> I'm not that okay. See what I mean? <laughs> We're dead. <laughs> Stanley began screaming. Oh please, God, no! Someone, please, wake me up. My name is Stanley. please open the door somewhere. Please, just someone tell me I'm. Oh, would you please I'm open the door? And that's it. We're dead. <laughs> no. <sighs> this is bad. This is the story of this a woman is bad. Mariella. Of course it is. Here we go again. Here we go again. This is fucking nuts. <laughs> you know what? What an aggravating end to an aggravating day. <laughs> I, from the looks of thing, I thought this was going to be all zen and peaceful like, and I would have a great night's sleep. You know, just relaxing from, you know, a nice, calm game. What did it do? Decide to. Enter my mind and fuck with it a little bit and piss me off even more. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully I'll have a good night's sleep. Chances are I'm going to dream of a first person shooter blowing heads off now. <laughs> I'm sure you agree with me. And on that note, thank you guys for stopping by. And if you've enjoyed the video, then smack the like button, lay down your comments, and subscribe if you haven't already to the channel. And until the next video, this is Freaky P saying... Good day. Want to stay up to date on the newest videos added to the channel? Then click on the subscribe button below. Or better yet, come and post your comments, questions, or just have a chat with me on my Facebook page by clicking on the link in the description box below. And until the next video, this is Freaky P saying good day.